Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials on differential equations. This is video number 21, or it's video 2 in the subsection on Laplace's equation. Specifically, I'm going to discuss Earnshaw's theorem. The previous video to this, which is relevant, is number 20, or it's number 1 in the subsection on Laplace's equation. And I introduced Laplace's equation and I showed the important property. And I'll, the important property is that you cannot have any local maxima or any local minima. Now, Earnshaw's theorem is for electromagnetism. So if you're, if you're just looking at this video in, in the hope that I'll show you how to solve Laplace's equation, then you should move on because it's in the next video that I, I uh, sorry, the next video I discuss the first uniqueness theorem and thereafter I start solving the, the equation itself. So what we saw in video number 20 is that Laplace's equation, Laplace's equation does not, it has, does not permit any local maxima or any local minima. And this is important and we're going to apply this, we'll say this result or this property of Laplace's equation to charged particles. And we discuss, we, we, excuse me, we call that Earnshaw's theorem. So what Earnshaw's theorem asks is as follows. Is it possible to suspend a charged particle using other charged particles or using an electric field? So let's say, for example, I'm going to draw it like this. Let's say, for example, we have uh, a cube of particles. Something like this. You'd have to excuse my drawing, but I mean, they're usually not great. And we put at the corner of the cube, each of the corners of the cube, we put a charge. Let's say we put a charge of plus q. So if each of these is a charge of plus q. Now each of these will have their own electric field which is extending away from the charged particle like that. And we know that the electric field can cause other charged particles to either be attracted to it or be repulsed away from it depending on the charge of the other one. So let's say for example we put a charge plus q in the electric field of this charge here, then our new charge plus Q will be repulsed away. We know the like charges repel, unlike charges attract. So what we're wondering here is, is it possible to place another charge, which I'm going to draw in blue, in the center of our cube and suspend it there using the electric fields of all the other ones drawn in black? So first of all, we need to know that the, excuse me, that the electric field permits us to think of something called the electric potential and the electric potential obeys Laplace's equation. But Laplace's equation does not permit any local maxima or any local minima. Now the next thing we need to discuss is how would we suspend a particle? Let's think of, let's think of a hill. So you go out into the mountains and you see there's there's a mountain, then there's a valley, and then there's a mountain. And let's say you're at the top. You're at the top, and oh, I'm, not, I'm not being allowed to draw up there. Just bear with me then. There's you, and you kick a ball down the hill. So there's the ball going down the hill. So it reaches the bottom. It might go up a small bit, but eventually it will settle down at the bottom of your hill. It won't go back up. And the reason it won't go back up is because it's after finding what's known as a potential minimum. And at the top of the hill, you would have been at what's known as a potential maximum. So in order to suspend something, in this case, uh, you might think that this is not being suspended, but it's, I suppose it's being kept in one place. In order for you to keep something in a, in a place in a stable equilibrium, you need to have a potential minimum. Now, so that means the center of our cube must have a potential minimum. But we define the minimum, we define v is equal to zero at, at x is equal to infinity. So when you go away really, really, really far away from your charged particle, you get a zero potential. But we can't possibly have a local minimum inside here we can't possibly have the local minimum. 
in the uh, in the center of the box okay so therefore what that means is that the box leaks out charge it leaks out of the center of, of each face because they charge particles uh, because of the charged particles so the result is that Earnshaw's theorem says a charged particle cannot be held in a stable equilibrium by electric forces alone so thanks for watching please pass it on to your friends subscribe to my channel and I'll be solving Laplace's equation in the following videos thank you